parent. Middle-income families are finding themselves unable to make it through the month. Some of them are two, two working family members, uh, likely those two incomes, but they don't really qualify for assistance, but they still need the help. The one area that has been the rib, rib big mystery, we call it the new face of hunger, or the food, new face of need. These are people that we're starting to see because of the downturn in the economy. These are people who have strong work histories. They've been impacted by job loss or reduction in hours, loss of benefits associated with employment, impacted by the housing market in one, some shape or form, and then unfamiliar with how to navigate getting appropriate services. This was a challenge for, the, I know, the food bank and people who thought the safety net was going to be some of the public programs, people who are angry or frustrated. We've seen this subsiding. I think we as a providers have a better sense of these folks. We also have a better sense as a, of a community. We are not going to turn this quickly. And so we need to really, uh, I, I think, step back and help people. How can they navigate to get appropriate services? And I know when you say appropriate services, I know we had a situation where we got a call from the food bank of a gentleman who was on the verge of losing his home, did not want to lose it paid only the mortgage, had nothing left, he had about $100 left, and wanted the core service center to pay his utilities and other bills. And we had this whole conversation about it doesn't quite, can't work like that. We've got, you might have to look at this differently. And so sometimes what we find is getting people to that place or really having them understand that has been a, it can be a challenge and it's been a real education for providers.